It was a train wreck. Now, I'm not just saying that as uh, a member of the loyal opposition party. People in his own inner circle, uh, people who are on his side, and I'm talking about obviously CNN, MSNBC, and many of their commentators, uh, said he did not help himself. I mean, folks like David Axelrod, who was the campaign chief for Barack Obama and worked with uh, Biden uh, throughout the White House term when Obama was in office, uh, Vance Jones or Van Jones at CNN, who's uh, certainly more on the side of Joe Biden, but he's also a pretty honest guy. And and you had people like that who were just saying uh, that it just did not go well for Joe Biden. Some of it was the the gaffes that he created, clearly creating an international storm over the remark that an incursion by Russia into the Ukraine wasn't that big a deal. And the staff of the White House have spent the last two days trying to correct that. But I think if you, if you want to kind of see how he's reacting, this first clip we have, this is Joe Biden when he was asked, why are you waiting on Vladimir Putin to make the first move? Watch more importantly than the question. Listen carefully to his answer. Why are you waiting on Putin to make the first move, sir? Did you hear that? What a stupid question, he says, almost under his breath off camera. But it's not off camera. The mic's always hot, and he knows that. But it wasn't a stupid question. His response wasn't that brilliant because it was a fair question. Are you waiting on Putin to do something so you can react to rather than taking action that might preclude Putin from doing something that starts a fire? Uh, this next one, this is Joe Biden. Um, there were many times he would be asked a question and he would pause. The RNC put this little clip together. This is just a little piece of it, but they called it the Joe Biden silent film as he gives silence and reflection instead of answers. Watch. The idea that um The, um, with the nature, not when the political coverage, the okay, I admit that the music underneath gave it a little bit of, of comedic relief. Uh, but honestly, it was kind of painful to see that there were times that he had a hard time um, getting his thoughts together. It was like he took these long pregnant pauses. The fact is, the reason the news conference took two hours is because so much of it was him silently drifting off into uh, the ether looking for an answer somewhere. It was, it was troubling. All right, we're going to play this little uh, bit here. This is uh, Biden on Russia invading the Ukraine. Here we go. So I think what you're going to see is that Russia will be held accountable if it invades. And it depends on what it does. It's one thing if it's a minor incursion and then we end up having a fight about what to do and not do, et cetera. My guess is he will move in. He has to do something. Well, you may realize that uh, he, this is what got him in trouble. I mean, the people of Ukraine went nuts. What do you mean, a minor incursion? Um, the staff of the White House, Jen Psaki, tried to explain it away. Here's her response. One, President Biden has repeatedly said the words of a president matter. So why isn't he more careful with his remarks? Well, I think the president gave nearly two hours of a press conference last night. Uh, what we conveyed this morning, last night and this morning, was exactly what he's conveyed to President Putin. And I think what's important to the American public, and tell me if you agree or disagree, is what the president's positions are and what he means. Uh, and that's exactly what he uh, provided directly this morning. I've never seen someone talk in such a circle in my life. Uh, basically, well, he talked for two hours. And he meant what he said, he said what he meant, but we didn't understand what he meant and he didn't understand what he said or meant. And therefore, that's all we get. I mean, it was pretty, pretty bizarre. But that was the kind of press conference it was. 
and it created more questions than it provided answers. And that's not what a press conference is supposed to do. It's supposed to give the American people a sense of, oh, he's totally in command. He is absolutely in charge. He is utterly informed and on top of everything. You watch this press conference, as I did, and honestly, I'm thinking, this is frightening. Uh, when he's scripted, as he was the first 20 minutes when he was reading his speech, you know, he's reading words that have been put there in front of him. But once he gets into just answering questions, he truly appeared lost. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, then subscribe, and hit the notification bell below. Now, if you didn't like it, you ought to find a Ben Shapiro video to detox you with more facts. <laughs>